traders, FSBF Collector here. Today is Monday, August 12th, and I'm going to be analyzing the pound yen, starting on the monthly, working my way all the way down to the one hour time frame for the full top down analysis. So, on the pound yen, I'm definitely still looking at this as potentially the end of a wave three. I think that we are most likely in a wave four right now, which is probably going to last at least eight months or more, probably going down to one of these two Fibonacci levels before it does go back up and make that wave five. So let's take it right down to the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame, nice big impulsive move down. I definitely am looking at this as a wave A. I'm really not even convinced the wave A is over, but eventually it probably is going to make a crutch into the wave A, like a wave B, and probably back down again for a wave C, which I still think this is all an ABC of wave 4, and this is probably going to take us out at least until spring 2025. So going down to the daily time frame. On the daily time frame, definitely one big downtrend, and I definitely don't see a higher low, a break of struts, or anything telling me the trend is over. I think the wave A is still active. I think this is a 1, a 2, a 3. I think we're in a wave 4, and I think it needs to go down again for a wave 5. So let's head right down to the 4 hour time frame. On the 4 hour time frame, I got my Fibonacci retracement on the last push down, the last series of lower lows, lower highs. I think this is the end of a wave 3 right here. I think we are in a wave 4. I'm looking for a Fibonacci bounce to go short, so I'm not going to go short yet. I'd like, I think at this point it's probably going to go at least to the 50% before it really does make that sort for the wave 5. So taking it right down to the 1 hour time frame. Now, I am a swing trader, which means that I am patiently waiting for the sorting opportunity. But, I mean, really, ever since this thing broke stress to the upside, anybody trading the one-hour time frame or below definitely could have been having some pretty nice long opportunities over the last week and a half or so. Like I said, I personally am still waiting for the sort because the trend is definitely down on the higher time frames. So I'm waiting for a Fibonacci bounce. I'm waiting for an impulsive down break of stress to go sort again for the continuation of the downtrend, probably the end of a wave four probably down again for a wave five but like i said if you are a very short time frame trader you could still be looking for longs right now in this wave four correction so don't forget to join my free discord group which is linked down here in the corner and as always thank you and happy trading